Hey people, this is Ashwin Vidyala here. I was talking to my mom this morning and she was telling me something. Uh, <coughs> okay, I need to give you background first. Uh, it's a story in uh, Hindu mythology. There is this god, one of the demigods, whose name is Krishna. Now, this god Krishna, you know, I think you've, you've seen him, the, the, the blue guy. He is an incarnation of the Lord Vishnu. And Vishnu is the... The, the aspect of God who preserves the universe. You know, there's kind of like a triumvirate in uh, Hinduism. Uh, you have Brahma, the creator, Vishnu, the preserver, and Shiva, the destroyer. So he's an incarnation of Vishnu, the preserver. Now, my mom disagrees uh, based on her philosophy and all, but see, that's, that's not the point. That's, that's irrelevant to me. Honestly, it's, I'm just going by mainstream Hinduism. And so there's a story where he was in the river Yamuna, uh, one of the uh, main rivers in uh, India springs from the Himalayas I think and um, so people kept going there for, you know, for devotion or for just bathing and stuff I guess and they kept dying and so one day since he's a god you know, he just went in and to check it out and uh, <coughs> he didn't come for days and suddenly he came out and uh, he was uh, dancing on a bunch of snakes or something and uh, so, so basically so the snakes were killing the people that's why they kept disappearing and so that's that's the background story so my mom told me um, she actually told me the story first and then she gave me the background because I didn't know the story until this morning and then she was telling me so uh, in her she's part of uh, she is involved with some teachings and so in that they were telling her something about um, uh, you want to whenever you see snakes you want to immediately go and jump on them and then, then they turn into garlands and they come on your neck or something basically that's obviously a metaphor I'm pretty sure that the Krishna story is a metaphor as well and it reminded me of a concept, and, and my mom explained to me. So what it means is when there are problems, you want to jump on them immediately when there's a problem because you can turn that problem into an opportunity. Now, I have heard that successful people are smart enough to take advantage of the fortuitous situations that miraculously present themselves. Fortuitous is something that's uh, beneficial to you, like, you know, derived from fortune, I, I think, I guess. Okay, so, so yes, so when problems occur, instead of running away from them, you want to jump on them, because a lot of times opportunities are disguised as problems. They come in the form of problems. And so we just try to brush them away and run away from them. But if we're willing to work at them, you can turn those problems into opportunities. You know, if you look at the lives of the most successful people who ever walked the planet, and when you see their massive successes, because they're usually in spikes, all of them have always come after a problem, a disaster, earthquake, world war, bankruptcy. It is after all these problems that massive success happens. So when my mom was saying, you know, you want to jump on the snakes, and then they, I think when Krishna was jumping, dancing on the snakes, they turned into garlands on his, um, you know, on his neck or something. Some, something like that, I don't even know. I, I mean, I don't care, right? It's, it's the concept that matters to me. <laughs> uh, so so when, when, when there are problems, jump on them because these problems, are actually opportunities, but they are disguised as problems. Napoleon Hill has said, every adversity carries with it the seed of an equivalent or greater benefit. Same thing, different words, different perspective, exact same thing. Problems are opportunities. You just have to take advantage of them. Oh, before I go, I want to show you something cool. So, um, uh, this, is, this, is, this is not my car. I mean, I mean, I'm driving it, but it's a rental. Uh, so, it's, it's right here, actually. I don't know if you can see it. Can you, can you see it? Okay. You see that? I, th I think this is really cool. For maybe for a lot of you, it's not. Um, so let's see. I'm, st I'm standing here, right? I'm standing right here, away from the car. Keys are in my hand. Right? So the car is there. Look at this. Isn't that cool? Did you see that? You see, I started with the keys. I don't know. I just thought that was awesome. All right. You guys have a good one.